She's at zero. Victor 7, CPA, 4, 400 yards in 1, 6 minutes. Roll up, Arkansas. If you want to sink a ship, you've got to explode a large explosive underneath it, break its back, put a big hole in the bottom, fill it full of water and make the ship sink. Weapon to my mark. One torpedo, one shot, it goes to the bottom. To make it a reef, you gotta sink it with an ad cap. You gotta break its back, and that's what an ad cap does. Battle damage assessment, there it is. That's the ultimate answer for the kill chain. We are all clear. The Mark 48 ad cap is probably the world's premier heavyweight torpedo. Incredibly powerful, incredibly accurate shot well with the right tactics and it's nearly impossible to escape. Well, the heavyweight torpedo is a larger torpedo that's, that's submarine launched. A lightweight torpedo is, is designed to be carried by aircraft. That's why it's small. We're reaching for commonality and affordability between these weapons is putting a common software architecture in the middle of it. The lightweight and heavyweight torpedo teams have gotten together and we've kind of traded the best of the best. There's a lot of value in having the torpedo software common so that it cuts down on infrastructure costs and it makes it a much more affordable and reliable weapon. ADCAP started out as a blue water weapon. It was intended to counter the Soviet threat and basically relied on sonar to do that job. I think if you look at this, the history of the ADCAP torpedo, it is a history of evolution and technology insertion where you can make most of the changes in software. Part of the strategy is going to be to take that Mark 48 and make it a very key foundational piece for this evolution of payloads. There's a real push to see how can we use existing inventory, existing assets, and how can we evolve those. We can look at putting in improved navigational sensors, uh, obstacle avoidance sonars, things that the deep water weapon didn't need, but that we can find room for in a littoral weapon. We're looking at technologies that would be able to discern a target from the noise through data fusion, through improvements in sonar resolution. With the technologies of perhaps fiber optics uh, controlling it, GPS, um, satellite navigation, uh, all of these things, this weapon now has the possibility um, to become a very accurate weapon. Heavyweight has demonstrated in many service weapons tests that it can sink the ships. The capability it provides to go after both surface ship and submarines is probably not matched anywhere. It's very difficult to detect when it's coming in because it's so quiet. It's lethal and it's nearly impossible to escape once it detects you and starts homing in for the kill. If you want to sink it, bring the weapon of choice, and I think that's the IPF torpedo. Where's the heat? Decrease to 25. Die, make your death 500 feet.